In 1986, there was an explosion in Reactor 4 at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant in modern-day Ukraine. This accident released massive amounts of radiation and created an environment that was lethal not just to humans and animals, but also to machines. When Soviet engineers sent in remote-controlled robots to aid in the cleanup, many of them failed almost immediately. The radiation fried their electronics. This led to one of the darkest moments in an already tragic event. Officials decided to send in what they termed bio-robots instead. Of course, these weren't robots at all. They were just workers. In the aftermath of this disaster, a lot of things changed. The mandate was simple. Build robots that are so strong and so hardened against radiation that no country will ever need to send in bio-robots again. Today's paper picks that story up 39 years later. This industry has been even busier than they expected it to be. While there have not been that many nuclear disasters in the intervening years, there has been a significant uptick in the number of nuclear power plants being decommissioned. It's actually fairly common now. Every year, 10 to 15 plants are decommissioned worldwide. This too is not a job for human beings. Unlike the machines deployed at Chernobyl, modern decommissioning robots are built for precision, endurance, and resilience. 